Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Architect deck from Jared Hansen and Penguin Magic. What is the Architect? Uh, basically, it's a deck that Jared Hansen designed. Uh, he actually first released this back on Kickstarter. It was unsuccessful, uh, but Jared Hansen's pretty prolific. He's actually designed quite a few decks, and so uh, he now has a really good relationship with uh, Penguin Magic, and so Penguin Magic has actually picked up a few of his designs, and you'll be seeing them in the coming months uh, through the Penguin Magic website and through their card club. The inspiration for this deck is uh, it was designed from the ground up to resemble a blueprint. So the architect features a contemporary refined back design. It's filled with modern symbolism while it's reminiscent of more traditional and classic playing cards. The tuck case is all done in a matte blue. It's kind of like denim. Uh, it's really soft. It does say architect playing cards down there at the bottom. And you'll notice that all the writing and all the graphics are all done in a silver foil. The back design is very beautiful and it's the back design of the cards. On each of the long sides it does say architect playing cards. The bottom has some ad copy about Penguin Magic and the fact that they were printed by expert playing cards. And the tuck flap says Blueprint Edition right here on the top. And then right here on the tuck flap, it says Form Follows Function. And then also right here on one of the little flaps, it does have Jared Hansen's initials. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the expert playing card company and people always ask uh, how they feel, how they handle, what the thickness of these cards are. Um, when I measure these cards, the thickness of them, they're kind of about a middle of the road deck. Uh, when you look at the caliper measurement, they actually measure out to be very similar to the red core deck or the red wheel deck or Dan and Dave's smoke and mirrors. So that's about the feel and thickness of those cards. Uh, if you wanna learn more about that, uh, you can click some of the links below in the descriptions. I'll take you to some websites and I'll tell you a little bit more closely uh, how this deck might feel or handle. The Architect deck is a wonderful deck of cards. I love the stock and feel of this deck. It has a really nice feel. It glides well, uh, shuffles well. Uh, it's just everything you'd expect from expert playing cards. The back design is kind of a light blue and uh, it has a compass, a draftsman's compass in each of the corners. And then you have this nice uh, circular design there in the center. It's very basic, very simple, but yet does feel like uh, architectural blueprint designs. It's that same blue, right? And it's that same kind of line drawing. So you do kind of get that feeling. And then you'll notice that the border is not exactly a thick poker border. It's kind of like a middle and in between. With this deck, you're gonna get two full-size, very identical jokers. Uh, it is a draftsman's circle compass and it does say Joker there uh, down between the two arms. And it does keep that same blue color. So you're gonna see the same uh, Draftsman's blue throughout the deck. Your Ace of Spades depicts Da Vinci's command uh, there at the center. And it does say Architect playing cards underneath. Your Pips and Indice cards are gonna be completely standard and instantly recognizable to anyone. Your Court cards all have kind of an old timey feel to them. They kind of have this um, feel like they're the Arco courts kind of married with the new modern bicycle courts. So on the one hand, they do still feel traditional and look traditional, but on the other hand, they kind of have a, like a more older, more classical look. All right, so that is my review for the Architect deck from Penguin Magic and Jared Hansen. And I wanna thank Penguin Magic and Kevin Rylick for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do a review for you. And if you wanna purchase your own, you can find it right now at penguinmagic.com. Thanks, bye.